everyone, my name is Pastor Tiffany and I would like to share with you a quick devotional about dealing with betrayal. Uh, I want to read to you out of Psalm 52. Uh, it was written by David after he was betrayed by a man to the king. And it says, Why do you boast of evil, you mighty hero? Why do you boast all day long, you who are a disgrace in the eyes of God? You who practice deceit, your tongue plots destruction. It is like a sharpened razor. You love evil rather than good, falsehood rather than speaking the truth. You love every harmful word, you deceitful tongue. Surely God will bring you down to everlasting ruin. He will snatch you up and pluck you from your tent. He will uproot you from the land of the living. The righteous will see and fear. They will laugh at you, saying, Here now is the man who did not make God his stronghold, but trusted in his great wealth and grew strong by destroying others. But I am like an olive tree, flourishing in the house of God. I trust in God's unfailing love forever and ever. For what you have done, I will always praise you. In the presence of your faithful people, and I will hope in your name, for your name is good. So David here is writing, and it seems like to me he's clearly irritated by the actions of someone else. You can read the story of the betrayal in 1 Samuel chapter 22. Uh, briefly to describe it, David is running for his life from King Saul. And he goes into the temple and asks the priest for some bread because he's been hungry and they've been on the run. While at the temple, there's a man who sees David, and later that man betrays David to King Saul. Now David knew when he saw that man that he was evil and that he would be betrayed by him. Now David's thoughts on the situation are what we just read in Psalm 52. And so this is what I would suggest to you. Perhaps on more than one occasion, uh, you may have found yourself betrayed by someone or slandered by someone. And our natural inclination is to seek revenge by perhaps running our mouths <laughs> uh, to badmouth them. Or maybe uh, we become insecure and so we try and puff ourselves up and make ourselves feel better and look better and sound better than we really are to make sure that no one looks poorly on us or talks poorly on us like that that person the one who betrayed us spoke of us but we see here in scripture from David that it's possible to take a different action uh, we can do what David did uh, he wrote it down he didn't take it to the person he didn't try to defend his name or his honor but instead he simply wrote it down uh, in the presence of the Lord he was talking to God when he wrote down this psalm and so the next time you are betrayed or bad-mouthed, don't take it to the world, but put it on paper. Pick up a pen, pick up a paper, however archaic that may seem, uh, and write it down. Write down the scene. Write down your thoughts and let God speak to you there. Because God is the avenger and no action goes unnoticed by Him. Let God quiet your angry temper and clear your name. He is faithful to honor the humble. That's what the scripture says. And so let's pray. Father, I thank you that you move in ways I cannot. I thank you that I can tap into your patience and your peace can calm the rage in me. Let me be someone who is slow to respond to the hurt caused by others and quick to listen to the truth from you. Thank you for your word. Amen. Thanks for watching. Be blessed.